We are very, very close to the Mexican border. Hola, buenas. Aquí? Okay. okay. Good morning, guys. I bet you're wondering why I am riding the bike on my own in the morning. Well, last night we did a little bit of research and we found out that to cross the border from Guatemala to Mexico, we have to pay uh, for fumigation and we have to pay for a temporary import permit to get into Mexico. And of course, both those things are only available to be paid in cash. And although we stayed last night literally right next to the border, there is no ATM in the whole town of El Saibo. Can you believe it? We asked our host and we said, where's the nearest ATM? And she told us it's like 20 miles back in the town where I'm just arriving right now. So at seven in the morning, I had to jump on the bike, come back to this town, and now I've got to try and find this ATM. We literally nearly spent all of our quetzales, all of our Guatemalan money, and we were feeling pretty good about that. We were like, yeah, yeah, cool. We spent all our cash, no problem. <sighs> But we've made this mistake before and we made it again. Where is this ATM? Hola, Cajero! Okay, that here. Okay, gracias, gracias. He pointed this way. El ranchero. Hola, es una Cajero. Cajero. Uh, ban Rural. Farmacia. Ah, it's abierto aquí. So, oh, okay. Gracias. From what I think she said, she said that there's one in the pharmacy and that that one is closed. So I've got to find the pharmacy. Might be this place. Let's try. Huh? Ah, okay, gracias. Uh, well, this looks like a pharmacy. Pharmacia Florian. Let's see if they've got an ATM. Hola, uh, tiene un cajero aquí. Ay, ah, okay, gracias. Ah, okay. Okay, we might be getting somewhere. Five minutes later. Okay, so unfortunately, that type of cash withdrawal place uh, is just for local cards. So I showed her our TransferWise card and she said, no, no, it's not possible here. You need like a regular ATM. And then I asked her if there was one in this town and she said, no. She said, I have to ride to El Naranjo, which is another town, but it is 15 miles away. So unfortunately, we have a bit more riding to do. And Lavi is just chilling back at the hotel room. Beautiful morning ride though. Look at this scenery with these like little cliffs. Alright, just coming into El Naranjo. I really hope the bank and the ATM is working. Yes, there it is. Pan Rural. Okay, let's see if these guys are all waiting for the cash machine. Cajero. Ah, Cajero aquí. Okay, gracias. Thank God they weren't all waiting for this. Ah, yes. There it is. Let's pray it works. Ah. 
I think it's working, I think it's working. I win the jackpot! Woo! I'm rich. Wait a minute, this is my money. Awesome, right. Now let's get back to the border. Let's, ciao, ciao. It says it's 19 miles back to the border. Man, I've covered some miles this morning, eh? Jesus. All right, let's get back to the border and let's make our way to Mexico. Morning mission accomplished. Goodbye air conditioning. <laughs> bye bye air conditioning. It was nice. Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 371 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here in the town of El Ceibo in Guatemala. We are very, very close to the Mexican border, but we've got to fill up fuel first. Hola, <laughs> yes. well, uh, well, Just gonna do a last fill up before we leave Guatemala. You never know if it's gonna be more expensive or less expensive or about the same. Um, regular, uh, yeah, no, gracias. You can hear the howler monkeys from here. <gasps> oh wow, mucho mono aquí, no? Sí, la verdad. Let's go, cool, oh, fantastic. Wow, <laughs> there's some crazy howler monkey noises wow. coming from the forest over there. This <laughs> wow, amazing. Wow, that's loud. Wow, man. yes. Amazing. Yes. Okay, gracias. That'll be okay. 2.2 gallons, 80 quetzales is about 8 pounds. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias. Ciao, ciao. Wow, I love this sound so much, hey? That's a loud noise they make. <laughs> Magical. So we are here just at the border of Mexico and we are aiming to make it today to a town called Palenque where we've got two amazing things to see. The first place that we're going to try and get to today is called Aluxis and it's an ecological park. It's a sanctuary for local wildlife, uh, for rescued wildlife and their aim is basically rehabilitation and reintegration into the wild. Oh wow, we're already here at the border. Yeah. <laughs> that was quick. Yeah, we were really, really close. Hold on a minute. Uh-huh. I've just got to see. When we need us are Mexico. Yeah, that might be going too far. Hola, uh, migración, aquí? Yeah. Okay. Bit Gracias. A bit further. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's pretty crazy because this is a very, very um, rural uh, border crossing here and the border opens at nine. <laughs> <laughs> we just do with hand signs. <laughs> okay, cool. It doesn't look very busy at the moment, which is really cool. And you got howler monkeys. I just heard them again. There's nothing like a border crossing with howler monkeys, eh? Hey? Amazing. All right, let's go find out what we got to do. Let's get out of Guatemala. So that was a pretty quick, easy procedure on the Guatemalan side. Just got the passport stamped, nobody else waiting. And then um, the customs guy came over to the bike, double checked that it was the, was the bike. And that was it. Now he's letting us through. Ciao, ciao, gracias. Okay, and now, I don't know if we have to go here. Hmm? Oh my goodness, that is mega slidey. Wow. Okay, hold on a second. Okay. Wow, that was really slidey though. Whoo! Oh. Okay, gracias. Okay, so we've gone through the car wash and now I think we have to pay some money here. Yeah. Hola, buenas. Hola. Hola. Uh, Aki? Okay. Okay. Don't tell me there's an ATM there. Little guard dog over there as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Two hours later. Oh. Got a sheep. Sheep in the way. Here we go. Puerto Fronterizo, El Saibo. Buen viaje. We have officially entered Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
Oh my lord, that took a long time. It's currently quarter past 12 and I think we arrived at the border, what, like 10 something? At 9.30. Yeah. 9.30? Yep. Oh or 9.45. Welcome to Mexico. <laughs> so we just stopped here at the first shop actually after the border because we desperately need something to drink. And also um, Oli went this morning to get some cash out because we were yesterday reading some stuff. Oh, you need definitely some cash for the border crossing. But they didn't actually let us pay in Catales. They wanted to pay us either in US dollar or with our credit card. So there was a big, big waste. And now we are here at this shop and the guy is actually exchanging money for us but of course the rate is not very good like i think we are losing about 10 10 percent now but yeah we are quite happy that he actually exchanged the money for us this is <laughs> i'm rich now <laughs> for a day gracias muchas gracias thank you all right so I'll just explain quickly the border process. So first we had to get the passport stamped, but actually we had to pay a visa to get into Mexico. Uh, apparently if you stay in Mexico for more than seven days, they told us that you have to buy the visa. And that costs 670 pesos, which is about 33 pounds per person. Then do you remember that little spray we had for Bumblebee? Well, we had to pay for that as well, but then I had to go to customs and get the temporary import permit for Bumblebee. This is where we thought that we were going to be able to use our quetzales to be able to pay for that. But for the visa, they wouldn't accept it. And then when I got to customs, they wanted about 50 or 60 pounds for that temporary import permit. But not only that, I had to pay a $400 deposit on the bike and that deposit gets returned if you leave the country within the set amount of time they've given you. So they gave us 30 days in the country and basically if we don't leave before 30 days, they keep that money. But the issue was, of course, that we withdrew all this quetzales and they wouldn't accept that at all. So we had to pay the whole thing with card because they did accept card. So in the end, the two main payments we made were on card. We barely used any quetzales, so our preparation was basically a total waste of time. <laughs> a total waste of time! <laughs> like literally that hour and 20 minutes I spent riding around this morning. Oh. Yeah, it's so silly because we are so traumatized now. The last uh, like two or three border crossings, we always needed some cash. Yeah. And I read online, we need cash and I didn't want to go and stamp ourselves out of Guatemala and then we can't stamp ourselves into Mexico and we are sort of like stuck at the border. Exactly. I mean, we were trying to learn from our mistakes. We were yeah. trying to be prepared. Yeah. But in the end, we just like totally didn't need to do that. But I guess the important thing is we managed to cross the border and we're here in Mexico. Yeah, wow. Welcome to Mexico! Country number 20 okay, slow on down our here. journey around the world. Oh, oh, here we go. Yeah. Okay. Hola, buenas. Hola. 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 Uh, again? Um, uh, Palenque. Palenque. Yes. <laughs> Muchas gracias. gracias. Okay. That was quite easy, hey? Yeah, he was like, <laughs> he was quite friendly. <laughs> nice. So the only thing we can learn from our border experience this time is sometimes being unprepared <laughs> it's just as good as being prepared. Yes! But now we don't have any border crossings to do for quite a while, which is awesome because Mexico is a massive country and we have a lot of riding to do. Oh yes! It's another incredibly hot ride here for our first ride in Mexico. The temperature at the moment, the bike is recording 39 degrees. So again, just like yesterday, it's just bordering on ridiculous. Yeah, it's not too comfortable actually. I mean, I expected the high 30s in Africa, but like, I did not expect it to be this hot here. This is really, really exceeding my expectations. 
but it's just because the border took us the whole morning uh, it just means that we're riding here at the hottest part of the day and that's not fun it's not really fun so I think we're going to keep on the lookout now and see if we can find an air-conditioned place to have a bite to eat I'm just praying that there's like a ultra modern petrol station coming up with a nice air-conditioned cafe two veggie burgers and chips for five bucks steal <laughs> <laughs> oh, somehow I think that we aren't going to come across it though 